Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy New Year. 2021, Bowman's Best Baseball, 8-Box, Random Team 2 coming at you. All card ship, as you can see right there, and you can see the combos right over there as well. Should be a pretty fun break. There are the combos, Guardians, Astros, Royals, Mets, and then there are the spots right there. Big thanks to everybody for getting in on it. Let's roll it, randomize it, four and a five, nine times for names and teams. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, there's Harry up there and Ryan down there. Four and a five, nine times for the teams. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got the Texas Rangers, Walker, Texas Rangers, down to the Cincinnati Redlegs. And here's how it shakes out. Harry, you got the Texas Rangers. Nick with the A's. Martin, Marty, you got my Dodgers. Brian with the Rays. I Capola with the Phillies. Um, it's Grizzlebees in the chat. Ryan with the Mariners. Michael with the Braves. James with the Tigers. Capola with the Red Sox. Dan with the Guardians Astros combo. Logan with the Friars. Drew with the O's. Jordan with the Pirates. Jeffrey with the Blue Jays. Brian with the White Sox. Michael with the Royals Mets combo. Evan with the Rocks. Nick with the Giants. Chris with the D-backs. Kevin with the Bronx Bombers, David with the Halos, Minsu with the Marlins, the Fish, Jordan with the Cardinals, Capola with the Cubs and Nationals, Jonathan with the Twins, Matt with the Brew Crew, and Ryan with the Red Legs. Let's sort by column B, alphabetically by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here on a Wednesday. Wednesday the 5th, Bowman's Best, Random Team 2. Big thanks to everybody here for making this happen. Brian ended up, ended up with Last Spot Mojo, Tampa Bay Rays. 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. We got four autographs per master box on this one, two in each mini. Um, I have to say that the design on this Bowman's Best this year is exceptional. So that's why I do that check to make sure I get all those. I think it's one of the best I've seen in Best. Open up a handful of these boxes at a time. So obviously this being Bowman's best, we're still prospect hunting. But what's great about the uh, prospects, uh, not only in addition to the prospect hunting, there's also um, some active player names in there as well. So there's some possible for some current players right here, not just the prospects. And all card ship.
lot of baseball today, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm glad we got a lot of these breaks done. We do have another su uh, Super Jumbo. We do have another Super Jumbo case in the store, but we do have another Bowman's Best case in the store. We'll probably get to that most likely tomorrow. But we got a lot of those cases, so keep plugging away at those breaks. Good luck, everybody. And we've got a redemption, and it's Emmanuel Rodriguez for the Twins. Best of 2021 autograph for the Twins. That'll be for Jonathan Kent. And a free top loader, too. Got a Spencer Torkelson die cut. Jason Dominguez masterpieces and maybe his future teammate, Davey Garcia. Rookie auto for Kevin and the Yankees. Jared Kalanick. Bellinger Refractor. Luis Roberts, 250. And a Tyler Stevenson. Rookie auto for the Reds. That'll be for Ryan Lynn. Got a Nick Madrigal. I really like that, how uh, that atomic refractor is just on the edges right there. That's a pretty sharp looking card. And we've got a Blaze Jordan. Blazing in Boston. That goes to I, Coppola, and the Boston Red Sox. Happy New Year. All right, next box, Miguel Cabrera, Atomic Refractor, die cut. Matt Chapman, Lava to 75. For the A's and Nick Coba with the Maddox Bruns. Anything big out of this? Can no, we're literally just finished the first box, Rex. So no, nothing big yet. Well, Blaze Jordan was nice so far. Blaze Jordan. But we're only just, only just getting started. We've only just begun. And we got another Davy Garcia. For the Yankees, that'll be for Kevin M. And there's Jose Abreu to 150 for the White Sox. That'll be for Brian. And we've got best of 2021 autograph, Akil Badu. Auto for the Tigers. That's going to be for James. A free top loader, too. And another Blaze Jordan. Blazing. Going to Coppola again. Here you go, Grizzlebees. Ronald Acuna Jr. Masterpieces. Really love that insert. All right. Next couple boxes. You're welcome again. Thanks for getting in.
stack up the next couple boxes. I should have dropped a... Do I have a checklist hand? I should have dropped a checklist in the chat. I forgot about that. No, I don't have the checklist handy. But if you go to groupratechecklist.com, there's a Bowman's Best Checklist with all the hits grouped by team. Um, Bowman's Best traditionally, and I think this year is no different, but Bowman's Best uh, is traditionally um, a small checklist. So you, you'll oftentimes you'll see a lot of repeats, but you'll also get a better opportunity to try to get some lower numbered parallels for some of the teams that you're chasing. Yeah, absolutely. We recycle. This is, Cal this is California. I'm big on that sort of stuff. Spot another redemption up there. Trendsetter, what's going on, Aaron? How am I on this cold, cold night? Yes, it's it is it is bitterly cold here in Southern California. I'm doing well. We've we've had we've had wall to wall. We're gonna have a wall to wall break day from the window to the wall, start to finish. It's been nonstop, which is great. So the gang has been keeping me. Pretty busy here, which is good. All right, next box. Spencer Howard Atomic. Logan Gilbert to 150 for the Mariners. Ryan, and the redemption is for the White Sox. It's Andrew Vaughn. Heat Wave, die cut autograph. Heat Wave. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's for Brian and the Chicago White Sox. Free top loader as well. Yeah, we can do a we can do a Sharky's night for sure, at some point. I think it'll look like this, but with an auto on it, that Andrew Vaughn. And then we've got more. We got that's Yoenis' half brother, Yoelki Cespedes, another one for Brian and the White Sox. Sharky still around? Did has did that? Did it survive the pandemic? Fernando Tatis Jr. Masterpieces. Very cool looking insert. Christian Pache to 50 for the Braves, Michael. And then we've got an Alexander Ramirez green refractor for the Halos. That's going to be for David and the Angels. 79 out of 99. Mike Trout die cut. And we've got a Reginald Preciado autograph for the Cubbies. I Coppola with the Cubs. There you go, Grizzlebees. Not numbered on that one, but still nice. Nice on card autograph. All right, another box. There's a Jordan Lawler to 150 for Chris and the Diamondbacks. And that one is numbered. 140 out of 150, Carlos Colmenares for the Rays. All card chips, so if I happen to miss, you know, one of these numbered cards, I don't think all of these are numbered, but everything ships, so you'll it'll all go to you. There's Harry Ford die cut. And we've got a 
Malfreen Sosa autograph. Oh, did I miss the... Uh, We're just making sure you guys are paying attention. Good. Good eye, ladies and gentlemen. Good eye. Can't put anything by you. 140 out of 150. Carlos Colmenares. <laughs> Brian Croft with the Rays. Last spot mojo. Out of 199, JT Real Muto. Good. Just make sure you guys were awake. Bryce Harper to 250. <laughs> And behind Marco Luciano is Tyler Black for the Brew Crew. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo for Matt H. And we got another Ray, Tanner Murray. Another one for Brian and the Tampa Bay Rays. Masterpieces to Tease Jr. I wonder if those could be autoed. That's a cool insert. Next spot, and I will do a quick autograph recap at the end of this video as well. Oh, you know what? They used to wrap these in, uh, in plastic. I'm so used to that. I think all that Bowman draft fried my brain. Top 105.95 on the Nuggets. About five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Lauren, what's up? Oh, via Harry, will, will Jaspies be at the National Atlantic City this year? Yes, I think so. We're planning on it. I think last year... I think we have I think we have a table or two reserved already, I think. I think we did early reservations at the end of last year's national. So I, I have no idea. Last year we took a good chunk of the team, a good chunk of the breaking team, out to Chicago. So I don't know if that's the plan that's the same plan for this year or not, but stick with us all all winter, spring and summer long. And as we get close to that date we'll have a better idea of of Officially whether we're going or not and who is going and what capacity we'll be going where we'll be staying You 
you know, and uh, where we'll be playing, where we will be uh, playing blackjack. And what what sports books will be will be perched at, for able to have any kind of free time. There's Jazz Chisholm die cut. Christian Hernandez, purple to two fifty for Grizzle Bees, and we've got a Pedro Leon. That will go to the Guardians and Astros combo. Dan, Dan Kaufman with that. But yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be looking forward to to all of you, to seeing everybody there. Usually we get a good contingent from New York that'll drive down and spend a couple nights there. How long is it for you guys in Philly? Is Maximo Costa for the Rangers. That's for Harry. There you go, Harry. Um, is that an hour and a half drive? Two hours? Is it one of those things where you'll have to stay overnight if you visit, or can you, I guess you can go back and forth in one evening? Ooh, look at this. A dual autograph. Jared Kalanick for the Mariners, Julio Rodriguez Mariners. Two of their big, hopefully, up-and-coming stars. That's Ryan Lynn in Seattle. Congrats. Yeah, Jordan's got a got got a has a position on Maximo Costa. There's Leo Verpuguero. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the Rangers have a number of prospects kind of coming up the ranks. Yeah, Ryan Lynn, there he is. That'll play, right? Not bad. On that duel. So there's your four right there, another four over here. Definitely an overnight event, but only two hours from Philly, gotcha. It's Henry Davis, nice, to 150 for the Pirates, that'll be for Jordan. And we got a Tyler Stevenson autograph for the Reds, Ryan Lind. There you go, Ryan. Yeah, we'll try to we'll try to keep everyone posted. I mean, it's, it's such a long ways away the national, but we'll. Uh, there's a nice Nate Pearson rookie auto. We'll keep everyone as as posted as as quickly as possible. But those rooms tend to fill up pretty quickly. There's Nate Pearson, Blue Jays, Jeffrey with that one. So I would like I would try to maybe at least reserve or block out some rooms as early as possible, at wherever your favorite location is. And we've got two, what's going on here? Oh, bonus auto, maybe? First of all, here's a nice Spencer Torkelson autograph for Detroit. Oh, that's kind of weird. You see that right there? The back of the card's kind of messed up a little bit. Um, Detroit, that'll be for James. You know what I'm gonna do, James? Is you, that that might be enough damage for might be enough damage for tops to maybe replace that for you. So we'll send you a uh, we'll send you this barcode right here. And sometimes they ask for that stamped number right there as well. So we'll send both of these things to you and you should be able to contact customer service and see if they can do anything for you. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. It all depends. Here's another auto right here, Alec Manoa. 
but at least at least worth giving it a shot, especially for someone of the caliber of Spencer Torkelson. And no, it's not it's not gum residue like back in the day, Ryan. I, it kind of felt like it though. I feel like it was just part of the part of like the sorting mach the machine that they use at the factory uses. Feels like it got a little bit of glue running across there, which is why maybe these two autos were stuck together. <laughs> Watch tops is like, yeah, that's the, that's the, uh, it's like heritage or whatever. It's like the, it's like the gum residue back variation. And there's Brian Ramos. So that is a bonus autograph. One, two, three, four. And here's our fifth autograph. Brian with the White Sox. All right, another two boxes. I just saw what you wrote, Ryan. Yeah, nothing like the soothing sound of Joe's, Joe's voice telling you got a sweet, sweet dual auto. Who do you think didn't sign the card, Ryan? You think it was Kalanick or you think it was Julio? Or maybe both. Who's holding up that? Why is that? Why did that become a redemption? You know, like one of those guys, like Julio's, like I sent it to, I sent it to Jared. I was like, hey, I signed my half. You got to sign the rest of these. I, I, I don't know why he didn't send them back. Kalanick, pro that's, oh, that's actually a good point. Yeah, there's a lot of redemptions of Kalanick, so it's probably him. Yeah, Julio's like, yeah, not my fault. Don't yell at me. You know, I send my cards in, unlike some other guys. And he's like looking at Jared's locker, unlike some other guys over there. I think so. Well, I don't, I. that's a very good question. I don't know if all the Bowman's best is on card. I know... I know the single autographs are all on card, but the dual autographs, I don't know. I would imagine they would be on card, which is why it is a redemption, you know? Otherwise they would have just slapped stickers on it. No, Topps and Bowman usually do a pretty good job about, about making sure like 95% of their autos and products are, are on card. Sometimes it's those insert autos that end up having stickers on them. Like, for example, that Invicta autograph that we saw in the draft break. But yeah, I'm hoping they're, they're both on card, though. That would be awesome. That's the... I mean, they're supposed to be the guys, right? Them and the likes of Emerson Hancock and Logan Gilbert and... Julio, Jared... No, so they got a good, uh, they got a good young crop of of players coming up the ranks. You know, and it looked like t in twenty twenty one, it looked like the Mariners were a little ahead of schedule. So that's a good time for the future if they can land a, a free agent or two in the next season or two all these youngsters keep evolving could be a thing yeah Jordan yeah as a big time Seattle fan couldn't be more excited about the youngsters and jealous of that hit
And you know, that division could get got, right? I think the Rangers are, are, are a ways away. You know, the Angels, unless they fix their pitching issues, the Angels, you know, are, are not going to be super scary. There's Henry Davis, nice to 199 or to 99. Here's Benny Montgomery. Evan with the Rockies. No worries, James. Yeah, I, I I'll be honest with you. I don't know if it'll it'll work. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. I've heard some people say that that Panini's easier to deal with in those situations. Some people say Tops is easier to deal with. I get I get feedback, all sorts of different different kinds of feedback on that. But but the wrapper and that box number is usually where you kind of start. So good luck. And here's a, uh, speaking of James, there's a tiger for you, Christian Santana. Dylan Carlson, Masterpieces insert. Jordan Lawler, Atomic. Hassan Kim, Lava, 27 out of 50. Kind of hard to see the number, but it's right there. And the auto is Luis Rodriguez. Nice. He's got some good penmanship there. Nice blue, a little color match. And that's Marty with my Dodgers. 118 to 150. Well, that's all right. Ryan, how do you feel about uh, the new uh, Buck Showalter, right? New Mets manager? What's the what's the feelings in New York about, about that hire? Just Jason Dominguez, and behind him is is Garrett Whitlock. Whitlock. Cool Whit. Whit. Whitlock. That goes to Coppola, that Grizzlebees, and the Bosox. Who can say? Yeah, generally Ryan likes it. But right, we'll see how it, in theory, you know, he's a good baseball mind in practice. Let's see how he does. Chris Bryant to 250. And here's another Mariner, Logan Gilbert. And that will be for Ryan Lind and the M's. Yeah, yeah, it's, I, 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 I kind of like that too. Ryan likes that the owner, a Mets owner, wants to win as bad as the fans and has the money to do it. I feel like sometimes he kind of gets in his own way with those tweets, but you know. But at the same time, there's like a sort of Mark Cubany kind of feel, right? Jose Devers. That will be for the fish, Minsu with the Marlins. Glaber Day die cut, atomic refractor. Another Julio Rodriguez to one ninety nine. I like that lava refractor parallel. And there's Maddox Bruns. Ninety out of one fifty Dodgers. That'll be for Marty. Julio Rodriguez die cut. Should be uno mas. One more autograph. There it is. And it's another Blaze Jordan for Grizzlebees and the Bo Sox. There you go, gang. Nice little break here. Yeah, he uh, Mets owner does own that Buckner ball, right? Well, hey, it'll be good good for the hobby 
if a big market team like the Mets can can really do well. Gang, that was uh, thank you very much, everybody, for filling up this break. Twenty twenty one Bowman's best baseball eight box random team two in the books, and a pretty nice break. I want to say some Luis Rodriguez's, some nice color, some up and coming stars, some current rookies. That dual autograph was real nice. You know, hopefully these guys end up being the future. That would be good for the hobby. Nice Andrew Vaughn. So pretty solid stuff here. More in the store? Check it out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.